Hello everybody, welcome to Anti Santa Table. I'm Cassandra and today we're gonna be unboxing Captain Sonar. In this two to eight person adventure, you will each take a role on a submarine where you are going to try to survive while killing the enemy. Well, let's take a look inside the box. <laughs> The art is really detailed. It's got a lot going on in this cover art where you have these many different people who are all both working really hard it seems but also really freaked out with the glass cracking and uh, bombs being deployed. Very intriguing and definitely wants to make you open it and see more about it. So let's go further in. We have the rule book. It's not very large, only eight pages. Setup is fairly short. Um, and then it looks like the roles, what is happening, preparing, and then end of game. So it is a full seven pages of like gameplay. And then page eight is some different scenarios that you can play while doing it. Now we have some plastic film things. Um, and there's a warning, please remove and discard the plastic film before use. So it's like thick plastic that could like maybe go over a board and be like written on or something. Ooh, gorgeous, gorgeous art with this. Oh, this is the board, creak, creak, creak but love this artwork. Oh, and there's two. Now yeah, we'll look at those in a little bit. This artwork is also intriguing, but that green of this one just really was green. Um, and then we have some other boards and things, and then eight little dry erase pens. So let me open up these and we'll take a look at the other pieces. So the, what I thought was gonna be like a player board are actually just those like um, screens. They do have some really great art. So this is um, both of them. And then you can flip them over and they have more art, but different. So that green character with that light that I just absolutely love. Um, and then this one also has some gorgeous art on the other side. Um, this blue versus this yellow is also um, goes with these um, mats that they had. Um, there were quite a few. So we had the first um, mates functions, the engineer functions, radio operator, and the captain. Um, the radio operator and the captain ones had maps for different maps um so there was that was the alpha then the bravo map which they had both um the charlie map ooh, the delta map and then the echo map and they were exactly the same with the yellow um and same maps so this is alpha and had the same things with Delta, Bravo, Charlie, Echo maps also. So it seems like you're gonna be competing against your other players so that it's really like a co-op of four people um, playing against another co-op. So it's teams instead of a cooperative, truly like everyone's cooperating together. Um, and then they did have these nice dry erase that have the label of Captain Sonar. And yeah, so they just, whoo and just go wow amazing um and then the erasers that erase it um can be flipped over for double use oh the rectangles not squares and then they gave us some extras in case they started to go bad which is awesome um i'm intrigued and excited to learn what these just things were um as i said they are just like 
clear plastic coatings that you are going to be able to put over like boards and things and erase. But that was really the whole game. So it seems like it's going to be a lot about fighting and how you're doing that. I'm really excited. But let's, before I start reading the instructions and delving too far into it, put it all back into the box. Putting it all away is super easy. The pens and those erasers go in that nice little hollow out point for it. And then the maps go in the section that is also like indented for it. The player mat things that cover the go next, then these screens, and then the rules right on top. So that was what was in the box of Captain Sonar. I'm really excited for this co-op team adventure for two to eight players. If you like this video, hit the like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get reminders of our newest videos.